truck. There's Ivy, there's Wool. Gus is a driving this driving. to Santa Clarita. And then we've got patches, patches over here. And we're driving to Agua we're, Dolce or we're Santa going Clarita. About 300 trail miles up Ahead. to get out of the snow. about to face Bunny's biggest fear, confined space. <laughs> we have to go under a tunnel under the interstate above us. See the interstate's way up there? It's really just a river drainage tunnel uh, that we'll be walking along the stream. As long as I can see the other side, I'll go through. Uh, wait a wait for me. Now if I can see inside of here. Yeah, Oh my gosh. There's graffiti. I'm just hoping there's no rats. Wait, wait, wait. What? I'm gonna cross the stream and get on the same side as you. You don't have to be on the same side. Yes, I do. I have my sunglasses on. That's a problem, too. <laughs> they were coming to the lunch. I'm going to see if I can look back. Okay, there's where we came in. And this is where we're going out. And he's trying to leave me. I better... Kind of cool footage, though. I. What do you do if the river's up? You can't go through here. In the desert, most of the time when people are coming through, they cross the cold drive. Yeah, probably true. Ooh, just hope there's nothing. But it's better than having to go through eight line, eight lanes of traffic, huh? No, this is very clean water. This is, very cool water. This is clear. This is really clear water. I mean, I obviously would filter it. Oh yeah, Look! Oh my god. Here we are in this little canyon. We're close to Vasquez Rocks, but this just has just a, I don't know, we kind of felt like it feels like the Grand Canyon almost. Grand Canyon-ish. Just the rocks and everything just looks so neat. There goes easy up there. Let me catch him. Here we are coming down into Agua Dolce. Agua Dolce. Beautiful little town. And these rocks are amazing. 
but we're gonna head up to Hiker Heaven. Ready? Let's go. the 16th and As you can see over here the snow on the mountains that possibly might be Baden Powell um, that's why we skipped ahead because we didn't want to be trudging through that snow for a little bit longer so we're trying to get this reception act out we'll go back and make that up and we just came up from Agua Dolce and that's what's down there in the valley it was so pretty we just climbed about almost 2,000 feet Yeah, it's so pretty. So there's Agua Dolce down there. We climbed over that ridge. And now we're up on this ridge. We're getting ready to go down on the other side and head it up. Good morning, here we are down, going down to Green Valley. Here's a little sign, I guess this is a running um, loop or whatever, Leona, 50 mile, called Leona Divide. And you can see all the people that have ran it and the mileage or the time. And then over here, we have a memorial bench that Easy is sitting on. Remembering Bob Kimmerly. Kimmerly. Out here on the trail. It's always nice to have a yeah. seat where your butt's not in the dirt. So we're doing about 10 miles today. We did about 13 yesterday. Um, we're headed into Green Valley. It's a beautiful, beautiful perfect trail hiking. today. Yeah, perfect hiking day. And last night was nice. It wasn't too cold. And when we got up this morning, we didn't have to have our hat and gloves so proceed oh we're gonna get a selfie picture be right there here we are taking our lunch break and I thought I'd film us at lunch just to see and show you guys what we're having um, well actually first of all our surroundings this is just beautiful a little stream right here and Easy is looking at the phone. We only have about three and a half more miles, so we're doing great today. But um, we usually just like to pick a place where we can put our little pads down and drop our packs. And what are you having to eat today, Easy? I'm having a pepper beef stick followed by a builder's protein chocolate mint bar. Okay. And, and then, meal yeah, we have some orange Mio drink mix with electrolytes. And then we don't I'm really having eat a lunch, we eat more snacks. snacks. I don't like to eat a heavy meal because it's so hard when you have your heavy pack on and a full stomach. So we just m more snack. But we need to rest our feet as well. So I'm having some fish and chips. Not your conventional fish and chips, but we have to improvise on the trail. These are some um, little cans. They're kind of heavy, but they're um, smoked trout and our trail angel... Uh, Alice introduced us to these and it's actually really good. It's got really good protein and then it's also got good omega-3 oils and then I'm gonna have some Fritos with it. To counteract all that good food. Yeah. <laughs> I have to have something to eat it with but anyway so we're gonna take about a 30 minute lunch break and then or however long but Whatever. we want to rest our feet. So that's our lunch. <laughs> Here we are at a little waterfall. Looks like there's a Boy Scout troop that maybe 
cleaned this out or something or did some work on it. But it's a pretty. All right, you lead on down the trail. See our trail up ahead over on that other ridge. Food, 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 food for thought, 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 thought with Bunny Tracks. Hello, this is Bunny Tracks, and this is going to be episode number one of Food for Thought. And this is an idea that I just wanted to share my um, fascinations of things that we find along the trail. And um, so each episode of video, I'll, I'll have a little episode of Food for Thought. Um, more like fun facts, trivia, but I thought Food for Thought, the hikers would actually tune into this because we always think about food. Um, the first episode of Food for Thought is going to be actually from a good friend of ours who commented or wrote in uh, after watching one of the videos. Uh, his name is Good Chip Norris and he uh, said he was curious about the word cactuses and should the plural form of cactus be cactuses or cacti. So he sent us a link and I read it and actually both are acceptable. The plural form of cactus is cactuses or cacti. More common, I guess, used is cacti, but I think in one of my videos I said cactuses, so that's accepted as well. But I believe um, in writing it's more common to use cacti. So there's your food for thought for today, episode one. I hope you learned, and so did I. And thank you, Good Chip Norris, for commenting. And send us comments if you, there's anything that you're curious about. And anything I'm curious about, I'm going to share it with you guys. Thanks.